Well, hello my loves, how are you all today? Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new, my name is Silvina. And in today's video, we're going to continue with this series of celebrity style analysis. And today is the day of Amal Clooney. So basically, we're going to talk a little bit about how I see her style. And then at the end, I'm going to try to recreate some of my favorite outfits from her. Okay, so before we begin dissecting her style, let's talk a little about who Amal Clooney is. Because I think her life story and her profession influence her style a lot. So, Amal Clooney is a barrister at Dowdy Street Chambers and she specializes in international law and human rights and she's the wife of the famous actor George Clooney. She was born in 1978 in Lebanon as Amal Ramzi al I hope I am pronouncing that right and if I'm not, I'm sorry. When she was two years old, her family moved to England where she lived and studied, achieving her BA in jurisprudence in 2000 at the St. Hughes College. And then she got a master's in law degree at the New York University School of Law. Amal is ranked in the legal directory's Legal 500 and Chambers and Partners as a leading barrister in international human rights law, public international law, and international criminal law. Throughout her career, she has received multiple awards and appointments and recognition in favor of human rights and is praised for her numerous talents by multiple people. She's also a philanthropist and the co-founder and co-president of the Clooney Foundation for Justice alongside her husband, where they provide free legal support to victims of human rights abuse. These are just a few recounts of her work, her dedication, her recognition, and her achievements. Believe me, her work is amazing, so if you're interested, I would recommend you to investigate a little bit more about her. But going a little bit more into the purpose of this video, like I said, I think her life and especially her work influences her style a lot. Since she's a lawyer, her style is always very put together and very appropriate and very neat. But even more so, I think her whole aura and her whole charisma is based on elegance and class. She's so beautiful, so graceful, so sophisticated and so refined. And I think that that totally goes in line and is reflected on her style. To be completely honest, I think that she may even be one of the most, if not the most, elegant women alive right now. Because even in her most casual outfit, she always looks very put together, but that might be my personal opinion. If I would have to describe her style, I would say that it's refined and sophisticated, but she does occasionally incorporate some more out-of-the-box pieces. Not trendy though, like a leather jacket or a animal printed coat or some printed boots. And she's definitely not afraid to incorporate more colors and prints into her outfits to make them a little bit more visually interesting and to make her stand out a little bit more, which doesn't deflect her elegance at all. Due to her complexion and her hair color, bright colors look very good on her and she uses that to her favor, going for some blue and pink and yellow and green and especially red, which I think is the color that best suits her. And another thing that I noticed is that when she's wearing a colored outfit, she generally tends to stick to one color palette. She doesn't really mix bright colors, which allows her to play a little bit more with her accessories. I think like everyone, she has two slightly different styles. One is her professional one, which is very classic and refined and modest, but not boring though. And then her public and celebrity style, which is a little bit more playful, but still very elegant, wearing more revealing silhouettes and different textures and more creative shapes. She always dresses very appropriately for her body shape, which is a rectangle. She's quite tall at 174 centimeters, and she's very lean and athletic, which influences everything that she wears because she literally looks good in everything. As a truly elegant woman, her makeup and hair are always very polished looking, very natural looking according to her outfits and they are always done in a way to um, flatter and reflect her natural beauty and her complexion and her features. You'll never see her in a very heavy looking makeup or some crazy hairstyles because her whole style and her whole image is based on simplicity and highlighting her natural beauty. Her outfits are always very well coordinated, never looking sloppy or unbalanced or simply weird like everything flows together and like i said earlier she always looks very put together and appropriate to the occasion and that speaks loudly of an elegant woman her outfits are never too covered or never too revealing just the right amount to be flattering and appealing. In terms of accessories, she's relatively minimal, but she does use earrings. I've never really seen her wearing like big necklaces or bracelets, maybe very occasionally like a dainty one or something like that, but never too much. Her focus is usually on the earrings. 
one thing I love about her is that although she's very tall, she's not afraid to use heels, sometimes like really, really high heels. And I love that because it totally like elongates her silhouette even more and make her look even more refined. And going in line with that, I think that shoes is one of the areas that she experiments the most. Sometimes going for different textures and colors and prints, especially when she's wearing a very simple outfit. Okay, so that being said, if you want to get the Amal Clooney look, I would say go for more classic and sophisticated pieces like cocktail dresses, skirt suits, pantsuits, pencil skirts, and blouses for like the daytime or for work. But don't be afraid to add bolder colors or prints. And in the evening, you can totally be a little bit more playful with uh, different shapes and textures. But one thing that is very, very, very important is to always maintain a polished image using flattering colors and tailored pieces and keeping your makeup and hair very natural looking. So without any further ado, let's recreate some outfits. Okay, so the first outfit that I'm going to recreate is this one. Super classic and very sophisticated. She has a black midi dress with short sleeves, some nude stilettos, and a black bag. Very classic. So to recreate this look, it's literally so easy. You just need a black short sleeve dress, some nude stilettos, and a black bag. That's it. Okay, so outfit number two is equally as stylish and it's this one. She's wearing a black top, some plaid gray pants, some black and white stilettos, a black coat, and the same black bag as the previous outfit. So to recreate this look, you need a black top, some plaid pants, some black or white stilettos, but if you prefer, they could totally have like a print or a design, then a black coat and a black bag. Okay, outfit number three is this one. She's wearing a charcoal suit with white leg pants, then a little white top underneath, a trench coat, some black stilettos, and a black bag. As you can see, she has a staple work bag that she wears all the time. So basically, to recreate this look, you will need a charcoal or black uh, suit with white leg pants, then a white top underneath, a trench coat, some black stilettos, and a black classic bag. As you can see, all of these outfits are literally super easy to recreate. Okay, outfit number four is probably one of my favorites and it's this one right here. She wore this at her Venice civil wedding ceremony and she looks absolutely stunning. She's wearing some white white leg pants, then a white top with short sleeves that has a navy detail on the hem, and then a matching hat that also is white and navy. She paired it with a beige or cream clutch and some wedges. So for this look, I decided to wear some white white leg pants, then a white short sleeve top, a gold clutch, some white mules, and because I don't have a hat like hers, I decided to wear a black headband. Like I always say, you don't have to recreate the outfits to a T. Um, you just have to have some elements that um, embody what the other person is wearing. And lastly, we have a more casual outfit, and it's this one. She's wearing some light blue white leg jeans, a baby pink uh, quarter sleeve top, a pink handbag, and some wedges. 
so to recreate this look i wore some white leg jeans then a kind of nude or pink or beige top then some nude mules and a beige or pink bag So I hope you enjoyed today's video and that you got some sort of inspiration. Let me know down in the comment section which outfit was your favorite and which celebrity would you like me to analyze next. Lastly, don't forget to like, subscribe and turn on the notifications down below. And as I always say, I will leave the links in the description box of all of my social media so you can go check them out. I hope you have an incredible rest of your day. Ciao, ciao!